These stories are inspired by the actual case files of the Office of Scientific Investigation and Research. They don't pay us enough for this job. What am I saying, Nikolai? They don't pay us anything. Shh, watch it, comrade. Never know who's listening. <laughs> no one is listening. That's the problem. Volvit stuck again. Probably ice in a sluice. Check it out, you. thousand years ago, much of the northern hemisphere was covered by glaciers. Both early man and animals retreated before the relentless force of the Ice Age. But what if at that time some presently unknown creature was caught by this worldwide winter storm and preserved within the polar ice cap? What would happen if the ice surrounding this frozen creature began to melt? These were the circumstances which the OSIR was summoned to confront in case number 321147. Chick, 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 get off. Data entry 212, access 41. Dr. Hanna Guskova speaking. This transmission is to confirm the claim directed to our department last week. Administrator Dolph Baranov speaking. Uh, it is some prehistoric creature. It may have broken off a glacier and washed ashore in the ice flow. As of yet, it remains unidentified, but appears to be um, many thousand years old. It looks like a found of genuine significance. It was discovered by... Nikolai Voitsev. Alexei Shasharin. Caretakers of the plant. Congratulations. We are going to be famous. <laughs> These pictures were sent last week. What does this have to do with us? They're still having difficulty identifying the species. Really? The transmissions originated from an extremely remote area of northern Russia. Apparently it's a mothballed gas liquefaction plant. It's years out of date. I want you to get up there as soon as you can and find out exactly what it is these people have discovered. Put a team together. Better make it a full unit, just to be thorough. You sure? The Russians have probably done all the preliminary work. I strongly suggest that you take a full team. All pertinent background information is in there, as well as specific orders for you, Doyle, for your eyes only. And Connor, 
Yes, sir. Have a safe trip. Cracked up to be. And it sounded so good in the brochure. Roomy air conditioned, city parade adults. Hey, I rented cars one summer when I was in college. Actually, I rented one to Raquel Welch. That was before she became the Raquel Welch. Really? Did she give me a tip? No, but she still writes. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Connor? Connor? I was just thinking about the case. Love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, why is a full team sent for a simple cryptozoological investigation? Come on, Anton. They're never simple. Well, other than a few background specifics, I don't know any more than you do. I didn't get very much information from Elsinger. Connor, what's really going on? I'm sorry. There's nothing to tell. Take it easy, Boris. I don't speak the language. What you move is yes. Rasprawini documenti. Ya vi khoshu. Vikazi, vikazi, da vai. Vikazi, vikazi. Da vai, da vai. Doyle speaks Russian. It's news to me. Easy. Is this the investigation site? No. We got a long way to go yet. But right, I want you to take the wheel. We're gonna go in. I'll take over. All right. All right. Welcoming committee. Trust for Jake. Let's do a quick sweep and secure the perimeter. Trust for Jake. It's like a bomb went off. No sign of looting, but sure quite a struggle. What the hell happened in here? I don't know, but it probably has something to do with this. LQ. It looks like a mylodon. Meaning what exactly? A prehistoric ground sloth. They've been extinct for 60,000 years. Where is everybody? Turn him. Oh, my. Oh. He's 
been dead a few days. Sat around his mouth. It appears to have come from inside. It has an organic quality, but it's definitely not human tissue. Okay, let's get started. These are the blueprints to the facility. They're dated, but they should help. Also, there's some background information and photographs of the two men stationed here, as well as the investigating Russian scientists. That first picture is Nikolai Boydzin, the dead man, formerly a structural engineer. The other caretaker is Alexei Shasharin. He's 35. He holds a PhD in electrical engineering. The other missing Russians are Dr. Hanna Goskova, 31. She's a paleontologist. Dolph Baranov, 35. He's an administrative officer. And Boris Novik, 50. He's a genetic specialist. Sounds like one of our teams. Claire, I want you to find out why Nikolai died. And Cooper, I need you to confirm that this is, in fact, a... What did you call it? But it's a myelodon. Anton, I need you to assist Claire. And see what equipment you can scrounge up that might help us. And the rest of us. Let's find the missing Russians. I'd say this place hasn't been operational in years. Hell of a joint to be stationed in. What did this plant do exactly? Press natural gas into liquid form so it could be shipped. Guess that means the no smoking ban is in effect. The motion detector's working? Yeah. Oh, hold it. There. Check the range. 100 meters. Good. Well, it looks like we're here. These stairs should take us to the lower levels. Hold on. I'm picking up something. What is it? Low-level gamma ray emissions. Radiation in here? Is it dangerous? Not yet. I don't want to build my dream house here, though. Radiation levels are dropping off. Connor, have a look at this. find a microscope back there. You determine what it is. Well, it's definitely a myelodon. But how it got way up here is another question altogether. How do you mean? Well, they were native to South America, not Russia. Interesting. This is unreal. Something attached itself to the inner wall of what's left of this man's stomach. Puncture marks are circular. And about an inch in diameter, you see? It resembles the mark a leech would make after it was removed from flesh. The way the tissue's constricted, I would say that something was sucking for all it was worth. And that something ate its insides out. But I guess it doesn't like liver either. Mm. Hold it. I've got motion. Something moving quickly that way, about 20 meters. Let's go. Where? This way, moving away from us. Which way? I'm losing it. Over here. Is it me or is it colder down here? Find him. Ray! 
I'm sorry, I was going for water and I thought... That's Alexei, the other caretaker. Yes. He is very sick. Please, help us. Why are you hiding down here? Something is loose in the facility. Some kind of animal. And it's hunting us. I don't believe it. What have you found? Here, take a look for yourself. There's something living in the flesh of the myelodon. Well, it can't be. I mean, it must be tens of thousands of years old and dead at least that long, I hope. <laughs> Well, I extracted these from the intestinal area. I don't know, they look like... Well, they look like parasite eggs. Parasite eggs? Well, Anton! You might be right. They do appear to be functioning on a primary level. Everyone's accounted for. What about Axel and Donahue? They're bringing the other scientist. He's dead. This one's not doing so good. You're not doing so good. Start with him. Let me get you some ice. I'll get some blankets. Anton, pass me my It's from the glacier. Thanks. He didn't appear to be. Did you say anything? Poor Nikolai. Did you see what happened to him? No. We were out examining the ice flow, and when we returned. Was he sick? Coughing or vomiting? No. He just seemed to be in a lot of pain. The next morning, though his pain was over, we found him like that with that stuff running out of his mouth. The next afternoon, in the generator area, the pipes came alive. What do you mean? Something attacked Boris, like a snake, but with no head. Did you see that? We got Alexei and moved to where you found us. It was cold, but we seemed to be safe. Why didn't you radio for help? But we did. That's why you are here, isn't it? <laughs> What's wrong? What's happening to him? 5cc, stat. Cooper? He's very cold. Hold his arm. What is that? Malka should help. Secure line status. Relink through OSIR SATCOM clearance code number 014451. Connor, good to hear from you. It's amazing technology, isn't it? From the middle of nowhere, as clear as a bell. And a secure line, too. Yes, sir. I need to update you on our status. Of course. Sir, there have been three Russian fatalities. We think the myelodon these people found contains some sort of a parasitic creature. A parasite? Has anyone from the team been injured? Uh, not seriously, no. Then you'd better upgrade the investigation. This, uh, parasite looks like it needs further study. Our central lab will be waiting. You want us to bring it back? Of course. A new life form is extremely rare, wouldn't you agree? See that it happens without fail. Understood, sir, but... Unfortunately, the weather conditions make road access difficult. Yes, sir. Sir, can I ask you a question? Of course. Were you aware of, or did you receive any distress transmissions from this facility? Yes. Unfortunately, we were unable to confirm its legitimacy. I thought the additional information might influence your line of inquiry. I'm sorry, Connor. Helsinger, out. A new 
life form. <sighs> Great. Well, Alexei has similar internal organ damage to Nikolai. In what sense? Whatever this thing is, it grew inside them and eventually did enough damage to kill them. Well, what killed that? Well, I really don't know, but something drove it from Alexei's body. Now, it may have been the alcohol, but I'm going to have to run some tests. LQ, I've never heard of a parasite using the human body in such a dominant manner. Well, theoretically, it is possible. There are several species, specifically from the Phyla nematoda and uh, Platyhelminthus, that have been found in the human body, but they are not nearly as aggressive nor as large as these. Cooper, could you walk us through the life cycle? Okay. Well, it's a two-step process, really. First, the parasite eggs are deposited in what we call the intermediate host. In this case, they were flash frozen in the gut of the myelodon. Why flash frozen? Well, Connor, it's the only way I can explain the quality of the preservation. Then, upon thawing, the parasite eggs have to be transmitted to what we call the definitive host. In this case, Alexei and Nikolai. All right. Upon entering the definitive host, they attach themselves to the inner wall of the stomach or the intestine, and they begin to feed off the host. On maturity, it leaves the body, effectively killing the host, and becomes a fully self-sufficient, free-living adult life form. So the parasite that emerged from Nikolai could have attacked and killed this man? And still be out there. Claire, does this man have any internal damage? Yes, but nothing like Alexei's or Nikolai's. Boris's wound is consistent with the external attack of a lamprey eel. But how could something that small do this much damage? It must be growing. Whatever it was that attached itself to Boris had to be 20 times the size of the specimen in the jar. Excuse me. Aren't we forgetting an important question? How is this thing getting inside people's bodies in the first place? I don't know. Any one of us could have one of those things growing inside us right now. Connor. You okay? Yeah, I just haven't slept much. Well, try to pace yourself. We need to have you sharp. <sighs> yes, sir. <laughs> So all we gotta do is shut down the heating and the lighting in this half of the plant. Along this axis, we can keep it away from the living quarters. Right, and interested in the area we're in. Could be done. Assuming we can isolate it, we're gonna need a lot of liquid nitrogen and a remote trigger mechanism. Excuse me, what are you talking about? You want to shut the power down? Why? We want to trap the creature, and we think it likes heat. Heat as in electricity, or heat as in humans? Probably both. The setup looks pretty standard. Just don't touch these switches here. We'll activate compressors. And then what? Very dangerous. Natural gas buildup. Eventually, boom! Will blow us all sky high. Russian technology, pretty standard. Anna had her suspicions about this mission right from the start. unanswered questions. What answers do you want to hear? What about your mission? What did your government tell you before you were sent here? I already explained that. Well, let's go over it again. I don't have to talk to you. Hannah, please. We need more information. What's your problem, Lindsay? Just trying to thaw out relations. We all want to know the truth. 
The only truth is our imminent death if we don't get out of here soon. Could you give us a minute? Sure. I'll be in the communications room if you need me. Thanks. I don't like that woman. She has so many questions. Well, she's a friend. Oh, I suppose the next thing you're going to say is that she's also good at her job. <laughs> yeah, she's that too. So don't talk to me about your orders. Okay. Everything I touched, anything I ate or drank, it could have infected me like it did the others. Then I am as good as dead. Maybe not. Maybe there's a way to save a person by removing the eggs. I like your optimism, Doyle. It's very American, very can-do. But if I knew for certain that I was host to that thing, I'd... I... You'd what? I'd rather die than give that thing life. Temperature's dropping rapidly. Seems to be working. Soviet engineering. It's the wonder they kept up with the arms race all these years. Ready. Get that valve, will you? All right, the sector's finished. Let's move on. something Did you hit it? I don't know. Did you get a look at it? Big and ugly like Cooper said. We better let Doyle know about this. We are the forgotten ones. We're all sent up here because we're expendable. Look, my government must have known about this thing, about this monster we unleashed. That's why Hannah and I were sent here. That's why your team was sent. Think about it, Dr. Hendricks. We're not being set up, Dolph. When we came here, everything that happened, the deaths, that was all an unfortunate accident. My friend, in my experience, very little that happens in this life is an accident. Look, get some rest. I'll talk to you in the morning. Spokojnie noci. Spokojnie. Can't take it any longer. Status 6 debriefing. I'm sorry, sir. There's a situation developing here that warrants reevaluation. I don't think we should be forced to proceed further. 
What are you saying? A plan is underway to try to recapture the parasitic creature. But I don't agree with your request to bring it back to Central Lab. Are you challenging my decision, Doyle? Yes, sir. I suppose I am. Doyle out. Connor. Connor. Look how happy we were. I couldn't have known. Let's tell Doyle. Connor? The parasite eggs in the myelodon require a warm, wet environment to survive. Now, once exposed directly to the air, they die within seconds. Well, how did Nikolai and Alexei get infected? Well, uh, I'm assuming that no one actually ate any part of the myelodon. You said that the eggs were also in the ice surrounding the myelodon. Yeah. Go back. Alexei and Nikolai. They used the ice in their drinks. But I thought the parasites reacted violently to alcohol. We all saw what happened to Alexei. The, but the parasite eggs were still in a form of stasis when they were frozen in the ice. Oh, my God. Is there any way we could tell if one of those things was inside us? Not here. Back of the lab, I could do an ultrasound or an MRI. A saliva test might indicate something, but it wouldn't be conclusive. Hannah. Did you drink with them? I did. I just didn't choose the ice. I thought it was disgusting. Did you touch the ice? Put your hand to your mouth afterwards? I can't remember. Is there anything that we can do for someone who had one of these parasites already growing inside them? I won't know until I have a chance to research it more. This is the most violent specimen I've ever seen. Any luck? The plan should have worked. We had it isolated to three areas where it could have survived. It... it just disappeared. What? Nothing on the motion detector, nothing on infrared. It should be there. It's not. About how big is it right now? Last time I saw it, five or six feet. Something is accelerating its growth. Well, we picked up radiation all through the lower levels. We could be sitting on a uranium deposit. Or illegally stored nuclear waste. Yeah. Let's ask Dolph. He should be able to answer some of these questions. Where is Dolph? Well, the last time I saw him was when I looked in on him last night. Go find him. Where did Hannah go? Not true. Sucking all out of him like a leech. We thought he might still be alive, but take a look at the size of the hole in its chest. This wound's more severe and much larger than the one Boris suffered. I don't understand. What was he doing down here? He was scared and he was cold. It's going to kill us all, one by one. Doyle? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. 
Connor. Peter, I'm all right. We have to contain this thing. Stop it from laying any more eggs. If it gets out, we could have a much larger disaster on our hands. No, oh, how's it gonna get out? It doesn't like the cold, remember? We don't know that for certain. You said yourself it just disappeared. We have to stop it. Destroy it. Destroy it? What happened to capturing it and studying it? Well, what good could come from understanding something like this? I want to make sure it never leaves this place. Elsinger's not gonna like that. Doyle, we're starting the autopsy. Cooper, mask. He's in shock. He needs a hospital. I can't treat this here. A hospital now. Get him on the truck. We're pulling out. Go! Okay, you're gonna be okay. I'll take care of you. Where are you going? The power grid that opens the loading bay doors. I'll turn it back on. I'll meet you outside. Okay, get me a stretcher oh, and a blanket. No. I can handle it. But, Connor... Lindsay, I'm giving you an order. Leave now. Okay, one, two, three, lift. Lindsay, come and take this corner. What is it? Something I left behind. Make sure Connor's all right. No. We'll get you back to headquarters. We'll get that thing out of here. Hold on. Are the loading doors open? I don't know. Damn, I forgot. Over here. One of these switches will open the loading doors. Then you can get Cooper to a hospital. Movement. There. 
There. There. They're trying to surround us. I'll hold them off and give you cover. Now go. That's an order. No. Peter, I'll never survive the trip. But this thing might. Connor, they're starting to breed outside their hosts. Somebody has to take that information out. I refuse to let anyone else die under my command. Now go. Go! Final case log. Peter Axon reporting. Cooper's well on his way to a full recovery. We've completed a thorough search of the facility. No evidence of the parasitic creature nor any of its eggs have been found. Nor were Connor Doyle's remains recovered. A memorial will be held next week in his honor. Axon out. Addendum to file. OSIR is suspending indefinitely the investigation into the mysterious circumstances surrounding the death of our friend and colleague, Connor Doyle. Until further notification, file number 321147 is officially closed. Elsinger out. recently been fascinated with the techniques of cryogenics, the study of very low temperatures and their effects on organic matter, the concept of suspended animation. Now amphibians have been frozen and successfully revived, but what the OSIR encountered in the Russian North went far beyond modest experiments. Theories ranged from a parasite of extraterrestrial origin to a native species mutated by badly stored nuclear material. Whatever the cause, the effect as we saw was truly unfortunate. I'm Dan Aykroyd for Sci Factor.